Part C, using a beaker to measure volume, it says choose a clean and dry 100 milliliter um, or other beaker that has graduations or marks for each 10 milliliters or 20 milliliters. Record the mass of the beaker in table three. So, uh, and take a picture of the scale showing it on there. I'm gonna use my 100 milliliter beaker. It's got markings every 10 milliliters and it is 11.1, trying to decide, seven grams. And you do need to take a picture of that, it says so right in the box, including again, the beaker, the scale and the uh, actual mass. Close enough. Temperature again. Turn on my temperature. Hit mode twice. I get 19.7, and now uh, measure out 20 milliliters of the room temperature distilled water, or just tap water. Uh, let's get 20 as closely as possible. Uh, use your pipette to get to exactly 20. Here we go again, right? This should be on a flat surface. I'm going to be pouring this in, and I'm going to be looking right at that 20 line. I'm down here somewhere. I'm going to go with that for 20. And good, I weighed my thing. And I messed it. Thirty point two four grams. Dump it. Do it again. Going down. That's a little high. My speaker, come here. Looks like 20. Yep, 20. Thirty point seven three grams. One more time. I'm dumping it each time. Oh, hopefully you took a picture of that first one there. Mine is hard to see. There we go. Had some behind it. Right on. Not 29.64. I'm gonna go with it though because it does look right on the line, and it, that was actually the best one I had because I could see the line the best. Um, record the mass, good. Let's go ahead and do our mass measurements. Uh, actually, I'm gonna let well, no, I still want to do these because I want to talk about significant figures. Not my favorite subject, but um, but a very important one to uh, be able to use when you need to. So subtract 30.24 minus 11.17. You're going to be doing your numbers, of course. 19.07. And I'll just go ahead and do a density measurement. And you can see I've got 2.0 times 10 to the 1 milliliters. That means that there are two significant figures. So, and 
the lines on my beaker are all in 10 milliliters. That means that um, I can uh, estimate using this beaker to the ones place. And the ones place is this place right here. So if I already just write 20, it's unclear if that has one or two sig figs. So anyway, 19.07 grams over 2.0 times 10 to the one milliliters. And still enter it in as 20 in your calculator though. 0 0.9535 is what my calculator says, grams per milliliter. You can record that and then underline the second digit because there are only two sig figs, the nine and the five. Or you could also just write 0 0.95 grams per milliliter. Either way works. Uh, 0 0.95, I mean, usually I just round it right there. Up to you though. I will leave the other two mass of waters and density of water calculations to you. I'll fill them in though, and I'll have them for uh, the next video, which is about table four.